Hello there and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video where I am showing you how you can visualize the percentage difference of one category with rest of the categories. What does that mean is first you will have the calculation where a percentage difference of one category with the rest of the other categories is created and then you can visualize this. So I will show you this two process in just one quick way which Power BI has by uh, inbuilt calculations um, if uh, if you are trying to do it manually using DAX it will take a lot of time but Power BI like I said has a way by which you can configure this calculation very quickly and before I show that just a quick information that this sheet is present within the description where I am keeping all of my video as you can see and you can search any video and jump to the video using the, the links present here in column B uh, that way it's easy rather than searching on the uh, YouTube channel which sometimes is very very difficult to find a particular video now uh, apart from this I will this since this is a live sheet or live Google sheet so I will keep on maintaining this so you will see all of my future videos will be present down there so you can keep this as a bookmark in your learning repository and use it whenever you want to search specific thing or want to learn uh, about any particular all right, with that, um, let's go to Power BI. So here we are within Power BI. And over here, you will see that we have one chart, which is going from Jan to December. And in this chart, let's say we want to find a percentage difference between July and Jan, July and Feb, July and March. That means one category or an individual category is July and rest other categories is basically are the ones in which with which you want to find a difference between july and other categories so if you want to create this first of all uh, you need a chart you know you need to just make sure that the chart that you are creating is is relevant uh, so here in this bar, case of a bar chart it is relevant and uh, here i'm using month and sales so within the sales if i click here I, the first option from the bottom is the new quick, quick measure and in the quick measure what you have is the percentage difference from filtered value right so over here you will see that you have sum of sales as base value how do you want to treat blank whether produce blank or treat as zero in the calculation uh, that, that's important when you are defining it um, so for now I will just keep uh, default and then what you have is the uh, filtered value that means I need to select July because July is the category that needs to be compared with rest of the other categories so select July click OK and you will see that it will start producing the calculation now if you see the calculation is present here uh, in the visualization form and the field is being created sales percentage difference from July and here is your calculation so as you can see it is a complex calculation uh, for a beginner or for a person who is focused on just the visualization or just the dashboard development this is something you know uh, really really productive because if you will see if you are focused more on visualization and development you want to be less and less focused on the calculations and would like most of these type of calculations are automatically created so I think that's what I'm seeing that Power BI is creating all of these visualization um, almost adding in every new release so that's 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 a good part to basically keep your tool focused on the visualization because that's where most of the developer may want it okay so that's that's what you know, the calculation is created but as you can see since this is a percentage and the mesh the cat the y-axis what we have is the values and let me just hide this by clicking here so what I can do is let me just remove the sales and here is your percentage difference so 35.53 sales you have less in January when you compare it with the July Similarly, in March, you have 39.23% more sales as compared to the July. And here, you are just having a negligible difference. However, the last couple of months are having higher comparison or higher sales when you compare it with the July. So if you have a scenario where you want to compare a situation like this, then this 
quick calculation can be your friend where it will just in couple of seconds give you the output that you need which otherwise is impossible uh, if if this is not there because first thing first uh, probably uh, you know like me or any other developer first of all you were going to search for it with countless number of hours you will find so many different calculations which probably may or may not be useful and then you will create a scenario that is specific to your need but here in this case the scenario and everything since it is inbuilt you know it's it, it works like a charm so that's the functionality i wanted to show you uh, so that your life is easy along with me uh, as as i found it really useful for my reports and dashboards and we are more focused on developing a dashboard rather than developing these complex calculations so with that thank you so much and i'll meet you in the new video with a new topic